Hello friends, this is Kasim and you are watching Kasim's Diaries. I am here with yet another video. I hope you guys have liked my previous videos and my first flight. So now I am gonna share with you one of my experience that I encountered during my last flight. So let's get into it. So when I was flying, I went out in the morning, I wanted to have a good shot of the sunrise. So at dawn, I was flying, I tried to capture the images and I tried to capture the video. But during the flight, I got this one alarm that you have a storage issue, right? So in order to avoid that so let's go into the go fly and then we go into the settings last time i showed you how to go into this setting and here before below the max altitude and max distance you can see the storage location so there is one internal storage of the drone and then you have this SD card where it's mentioned no SD card at the moment. So this internal storage becomes full if you have not put any SD card and you have made video of around 6 or 7 minutes then you do not have any storage left so for one minute it takes around 1 GB of memory so that's where your storage finishes in around 7 minutes so I'll come to the solution for this one also but similarly we have a storage for our DJI RC controller so we can go back to this view we can go into profile we can go into settings and then we can go into storage and here we can see the RC controller has its own storage that is around 3.8 GB so we cannot move our drone pictures and videos to our DJ RC controller unless we put a memory card over here. So for example, I have taken this picture just now. So if I open this, and if I want to download this one, it shows insert SD card into your RC controller. So we cannot download our data into our RC controller. So we can solve this by doing the following. So Let's go into our first solution, which is we go into this album, then we click on our media, we get this error, then we come again over here. So this, this is for your fly share. So we can click on this DJ fly and we can scan this QR code to get our ATK file which can be downloaded into the phone and we can use the DJ fly app on our phone to transfer the data 
from our drone into our phone for editing and for sharing. So that's the first thing. Now the second thing is we have this USB-C port which we can connect to our phone and we can download the data also we have this USB-C port on our drone which we can connect directly to our phone but this is a tedious way of doing the things so there is another way where we don't have to move all of our media after every seven minutes of flight so that's where we can order these SD cards which can be of any size so I've selected two 256 GB SD cards which we one of them we can put it in our drone over here and the other we can put in our RC controller micro SD card so now in order to select which SD card is better for you I have selected the one which has 200 Mbps read speed and it has 140 Mbps of write speed because we have a lot of data going into the storage so your storage should be a compatible one so that's where I have chosen this Sandus Extreme Pro 256 GB and we should be very careful so we should look at this V30 A2 which is the one that is compatible for your drone and your RC controller so it's better to have two so that you have enough space in both your drone and your RC controller okay guys so I have opened this one so make sure you buy the micro STXC extreme pro UHSI card so if I go in the at the back side of this one so make sure you buy this V30 A2 micro STXC card so that it is compatible with your drone and your RC controller it has lifetime warranty and it comes with a two years of rescue pro free subscription so to recover your data in case of failure Okay, so now coming to the price of this one, you will get these at around 80 to 90 dollars in different outlets in Australia. But 
it's better to you buy it from Amazon where you will get a better price. So you buy a drone of around $4,000 and then on top you buy few of these items so that you can fly for a longer period and record for a longer period. And you do not have to transfer all the images after every 7 minutes of flight. So along with this micro SD XE card, I have purchased this card reader so that I can easily transfer my data into my PC and I can do editing and all kind of stuff. So this card reader, when I open this, it comes with this USB 3 card reader where you can put either the micro SD or the SD card itself because most of the PCs nowadays do not come with this micro SD or the SD card readers so we have to purchase it separately so this is not only for drone, I have a DSLR also which is a like 7-8 years old and I can use its SD card also and transfer the data into my PC. And if you have a PC with, which has only the SD card reader, you do not have to purchase it, in fact you can just put this micro SD card in this SD jacket and then just directly plug it in. So now having said all that, we have this micro SD XC card. Now let's try to put this in our drone and see the storage improvement on the RC controller. So let's first see in the go fly mode. We enter here. We see there is no SD card at the moment. We open this slot inside the drone. Make sure this SD card is in this direction and we put it inside and do the click and let's see the improvement. Of the memory immediately we can see that we can see this 238 GB of memory appeared over here now I have opened this second micro SD card which I'm gonna put in my RC controller to improve its memory as well so for this RC controller we have to put it in downward position unless unlike the drone so we put it like this and do the click we close this one Let's go back into the profile, into the settings, into the storage and here we go we have 238 GB immediately available on the RC controller.
Having done this exercise, let's go to the album now. The picture that I took before, I could not download it before. So now I have put the SD card into my RC controller and into my drone. So let's try click this one and yes it's working and the file is downloaded into this RC controller and we can go into the saved folder and we can see the file is here now which was not there before putting the SD controller card so yes this is your image solution for your memory issues and with this 238 GB plus 7 GB you have 245 GB available and you can make 245 minutes of videos. So until next time thanks guys for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. So see you guys until next time bye bye.